Hello everybody, it's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thank you so much for being here today. I want to work on these four coasters with their little matching stand. Uh, I do have the silicone mold available in my store, dryerdaysartstudio.com. All of the products that I'm using in this video will be available there as well. You can find links in the description to all of the products used in this video. Before we get started, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is totally free for you. I have tons of free content already on this channel and I try to come out with a new video every week. If you want to further help contribute to my channel monetarily, I do have a Patreon and that is also in the description for more info on that. Okay, so starting here, I'm going to be using Total Boats Countertop Epoxy Resin and I'm just getting a good base in here. For the deeper coaster holder mold there, I am starting with about an inch or so filling up wise. Um, these smaller coaster molds are very small, they're very shallow, so you can just go ahead and fill them almost all the way to the top right away. I am letting that other one kind of sit and cure up a little bit, uh, and then I'm gonna add more clear in later. All right, and now I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of resin, you hardly need any, and a tiny bit of the white color cream pigment paste from my Color Joy line, and we're just gonna make a tiny bit of white over there in that other little cup. I wanna make sure it's nice and opaque, not too thick, you hardly need any paste for this. And I've kinda of realized that's the key with the flowers, you really hardly need any white at all, and I tend to overdo things, and that's where I've kinda of screwed up in the past. These adorable little stones here are brand new to my store. And we're gonna use the light pink ones for this one. And we're gonna use the iridescent ones right here. And you can see the alcohol inks that I kind of have grouped with each one that I wanna use. So we're gonna start with some vivid pink. Just two or three little drops here. These coasters are so small that you really don't need much product at all. And they produce really beautiful results. And we're doing a little bit of the cool gray there and we're gonna also do a little bit of the Prussian blue. There we go. And you can see the coaster holder up there is still just sitting with that clear resin in it. And so now I'm taking my orange stick and I am dipping it into the white resin and then just creating my flower shape. And this is actually time-lapsed so I was moving pretty slowly. I wanted to try the shape that I really love doing. I've done this flower shape my entire life, even just like doodling in notebooks. And I really wanted to try it on this one and make it really, really pretty and see how it would work. And you can already see how the pink and purple are melding together. I love those two colors together. And the cool gray and blue are really a beautiful, cool combo together as well. Okay, so it's a little while later, and I have filled out that mold now the rest of the way up there on the top left. And now I'm actually adding some of my gold gala glitz right to the center to be the center of our flower. And I'm gonna use a couple of drops of the mossy green. And we're gonna do a couple of drops of the gold. Now, these alcohol links, you can get them individually in my store, or you can get them as a pack of six. And as you can see, they're pretty large bottles. Um, I'm just shaking up that gold because the gold metallic can really settle. So just make sure you really shake up the gold really, really well. And again, just going to kind of do the same thing. I'm still using that same small, small, small amount of white that I made from earlier. 
And the Total Boat I find really does not overheat on me, uh, which is awesome. There are some more higher viscosity uh, resins that are thinner that do make beautiful flowers, but if I wanna pour something deep like this mold, um, they will start to overheat and harden, and then I will not be able to make beautiful flowers. That actually happened to me. I tried, I've actually made three sets of these. Um, You'll see I incorporate two other little small round coasters that I made separately with another set that I was trying to make of this and that's exactly what happened to that holder mold. Um, it overheated and the flower was ruined and so that's why I went and made these. Um, so again, I just am always like more, more, more. I'm a, I'm, it's hard for me to be a less is more kind of person. I'm just very extra. So I'm just still going in here and adding more white, more white, more white. Um, and again, this is time lapsed. So in real time, I'm moving pretty slowly. And as you can see with each flower, I'm using a different technique to see what shape um, and result that we get. So the resin has been sitting now for probably about two hours, so it's pretty firm. And I'm just adding a few more of those stones because I'm not sure which side of these I'm gonna like better. And because the stones are heavy, they have sunk. And so you can see them from the other side, but you can't see any from this side. It really doesn't matter about that holder up there up top because that gold kind of blob you see there, that's gonna be the bottom of the coaster holder. So I really don't care what that looks like. I knew the gold gala glitz was gonna sink and that was perfectly fine. Uh, but here we're just gonna add a few little stones to the side so that we can see the stones on both sides when they're finished. All right, the best part. So this one was already looking really beautiful. Um, you can see how nice and clear these are, really beautiful, virtually no bubbles at all. Um, and if any, they're micro. So you can just see the dimension, the beautiful petals, how that alcohol ink really spreads out. I think I, I just love the purple and the pink together. It's a perfect highlight, low light of each other. And so here we have the cool gray and the Prussian blue with the white. And this is the one where I just kind of did straight lines out and kind of swirled them together in the center. So you can see pretty cool effects. I love just the wisps, the wisps of the blue and gray in there. And now the big holder. So this one takes a little bit longer to demold. Now be careful, um, I have cut myself, you know, trying to get my finger in here and loosening up the mold a little bit. I've had it happen with other molds too, so I just wanna mention, just be careful. And as you saw too, I'm using my heat gun throughout the process with popping bubbles and stuff. Please do not use a torch or open flame on any of your molds. And after my mishap with the other mold, with the resin seizing up on me and ruining the flower, I'm really happy with how this flower looks. I think that's so cool with the green and gold in there. And I love the gold gala glitz center. So pretty. So now I'm gonna incorporate some of those other coasters I told you I made from another set and we'll see all of these together. I just think they're beautiful, just really simple. This was so quick, so easy. Again, the molds are available at Dryer Days Art Studio as are the inks and the stones. The resin is from Total Boat. You can find links to everything in the video description. Here's that pink one up close again in the sun. So pretty. There's the blue and gray one again. I love how clear they are. They're just so beautiful.
there's the holder again. You can see that green and gold a little bit up closer. I just love how dimensional these look in such a shallow, like look how shallow that was. Hardly any resin and you get so much dimension. So here's the one I made from another set and I was really, really heavy on the white with these, as you can see, but same colors together and same stones in the middle. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this super quick video. I really enjoyed making these. Again, super fun, super fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Come find me on Instagram at Dryer Days. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring.